Welcome to another edition of Wings Weekly. Jay Klein Connect here along with head coach Scott Langer. Uh, coach, a, a 6-0 win on Friday night with all four lines scoring in the second period. Bendorf recording a, a hat trick and a 2-0 loss Saturday night with a late empty netter. Power play was strong on Friday night, 50%, and the kill was great all weekend, uh, both uh, Friday and Saturday. Turning away four Minot uh, power plays on Saturday night. Vernon makes 45 of 46 saves, uh, or saves on on 46 shots. Uh, just overall, what are your thoughts on the weekend, Coach? You know, for us, it's a, it's just about consistency. And, you know, we had a slow start on Friday. Um, luckily, we had goaltending. You know, Vernon did a great job holding us in there uh, and gave us the opportunity to have that second period we did. But... On the same time, it's uh, having a second period like we did, you know, with, with John Bendoff just, you know, taking over the game. You're not going to see that too often in a playoff game. So, um, you know, into into Saturday, um, much the same, but you know, pretty slow start and uh, until the third period when when we really took it to them. And the funny thing is, that's when they scored their only goal, you know, besides the open net. But I thought our team was really good in the third period against Minot on Saturday and. You know, like we talked about it, it's um, sometimes having a game like uh, like you did Friday with that with scoring six goals against a team like that, you let your guard down. And uh, I think a little bit of that carried into Saturday's game where our guard was down and um, might not took advantage of it. Yeah. Well, and again, briefly, uh, that kind of translates into a, a second part of the question. And I think that is, is some, there are some fans out there, some diehard, you know, great fans that are not giving up on anybody by any means, but uh, they're starting to get a little bit of concern perhaps because at uh, what could have been an opportunity lost. Um, and, and I think fans even, you know, kind of almost felt like maybe they were going to just skate through, you know, the wings going to make easy work or short work of a, of a team like the Toros in the first round. But uh, that's not the case, um, as, as you've mentioned in previous conversations, that the, every team at this level is worth, is, is, especially once they're in the playoffs, you know, can win. And uh, it's, it's tough at this level. Um, what would you say to those fans uh, that have a little bit of concern right now? Well, I mean, uh, the, the thing is, is that we play in the North American Hockey League, which is some of the best players in the entire country and in Europe. And... Um, I'm not sure the Central Division is the division that uh, anybody's going to walk through, no matter what. It's mm -hmm. just not uh, that type of division. And you know, you play 60 games for the opportunity to to get into the playoffs. Once you get into the playoffs, it's a whole new season. And um, you know, like I, I said before, it's uh, let's not forget where we were in the past. And um, you know, prior to Coach Bowen and I coming here, and this group of guys coming in uh, last year, and the guys hanging around this year, you know, we had one playoff win. And uh, that was in franchise history. So we're heading in the right direction. We're, uh, last year's team made it to the Robertson Cup. This year's team um, broke the franchise record for, for wins. And, you know, like I, uh, like I told the guys, you know, you're going get, to get on the bus and call the game. Tom's going to drive us there. We're going to get out as a family. And we're going to give the effort that these fans have seen in the last two years. You know, we're going to go down, we go down swinging. But I can tell you, if we do things the right way, and we do it the wings way, um, we do it as a family, we'll be a happy bunch. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, uh, as you know, I kind of alluded to earlier, a little bit of an abbreviated Wings Weekly this week as, uh, as we talked a little about, there's really one goal in mind at this point, so not a lot of time to, to talk about the fluff, if you will. Um, so we're gonna keep things kind of short here today and uh, we'll take a quick break and be back with what's upcoming against Minot uh, on this coming Friday and Saturday. So we'll take a break and, and be back after these words from our sponsor. Let's make a taco. <laughs> no, seriously. Start with a tortilla, soft tortilla, warm it, kiss it, don't kiss it. Chicken, how about tequila lime chicken? Now we're cooking. Slice this, peel that, snip those. Salsa, verde. Cheese, cotilla. Oh, forgot to mention. Guac. That's better. See, anyone can make a taco, but we're not anyone. We're Qdoba, and these are knockout tacos. Qdoba Mexican Eats. Choose flavor. Welcome back to Wings Weekly. Jay Klein Connect along with head coach Scott Langer as we continue on with the, the second portion of today's show. And coach, we talked a little bit about the, the weekend that was. Um, but as you mentioned, you have to load the bus up and head up to Minot. Um, and uh, well, what do you have to do to, or, or do better perhaps, uh, up in Minot to come away with a couple of wins. 
Or you just have to play wings hockey. We have to play it on a consistent uh, basis. You know, we, we can't wait 20 minutes or we can't wait 40 minutes uh, uh, for that to surface. And, you know, now that the, the playoffs underway and the jitters are out of the way, there's, there's no excuse not to play wings hockey. And, you know, we've proved our style works and, and our beliefs work. So uh, it's not like we're going to reinvent the wheel in, in four days. It's, uh, it's back to playing wings hockey. And I think if we do that, we'll have a happy bus on the way home. Right on. Well, Coach, uh, the final question I've got for you is uh, from a handful of fans that were wondering about the, the belly of the beast and about the, the kind of motto or the slogan of this year's playoff run and where you got inspiration or where the team gets inf- inspiration from uh, uh, for that. Well, I mean, it goes back to the, the old wise tale in the, in the book Moby Dick. And uh, anybody who knows uh, the, the story behind Moby Dick, the short part of it is, you know, uh, Jonah had to go spend some time in, in the belly of the beast in order to conquer it. And uh, through that, he had to face a ton of chaos and a lot of hurdles and obstacles. And obviously, uh, it wasn't tough. But at the end of the day, he, uh, he was able to seize that, that beast. And, and uh, pretty much that's kind of the short version of that. And then you see the, the seeing the red. And, and the red is simple. You know, red is uh, a metaphor. And and it's about blood, and it's about winning, and it's about hitting, and it's about scoring. And at the end of the day, seeing red's about success. Yeah. All right. Well, I know, uh, and it, I kind of uh, b- briefly mentioned that to a few folks, but I wanted to see, you know, get your take on it and how it relates to this team. And I think you just put that together nicely. So thank you for that. Um, I do want to remind folks, that, of course, that uh, Friday and Saturday, April 20th and 21st, up in Minot, Against the Minotauros, 7.35 puck drop both nights. You can watch the games at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Aberdeen or HockeyTV.com. You can listen on 94 One The Rock, HubCityRadio.com, or The Rock app. Fans who want to sit in an area reserved for Wings fans can get tickets online with the promo code Aberdeen at tickets.minotauroshockey.com, although I have been told that some of those tickets or those seats may not be the best in the building, So, but I understand you can get other tickets too, so just a heads up there. Game five, if necessary, April 23rd, Wings versus Minot here at the ODI Center. Again, that is if necessary. All games at the ODI will be 715 puck drops. And for all the latest news and information, visit AberdeenWings.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. As I mentioned at the start of today's show, Coach, a little bit of an an abbreviated one because really there's really one thing left to focus on. So it, it... Kind of makes it so there's not a whole heck of a lot else to talk about. But I do appreciate you taking some time out of a, a very busy schedule and, and, again, a lot of work to do uh, to join us on Wings Weekly. Thank you. All right, folks, that'll pretty much wrap up this week. This week's Wings Weekly.